In 2016, Darren Soto was elected to represent Florida's 9th Congressional District and has done several things since then to prove that he deserves to keep his place in Congress. I am honored to represent us in Osceola County and throughout District 9 we know up in that's Washington. going to be absolutely critical for the future of America that we have. We're going to bring back important funding for natural disasters. And so I'm so proud to have my fellow brothers and sisters Thank you, here. It's not to represent you, and I hope to earn your vote in the August primary and in November. Thank you. When it comes to climate change, Darren Soto is proud to be the greenest member of the Florida Congressional Delegation as he pushes for investments in renewable energy sources and for an abundance of other changes to help protect our environment. So first of all, climate change is real. It is human caused and it is warming our entire earth. What it really means is we have more extreme weather. We have hotter summers. We have colder winters, we have more extreme hurricanes and typhoons and uh, tsunamis. The good news, even though President Trump has pulled us out of the climate accord that uh, was struck in Paris, a lot of our industries are already following it anyway, uh, like our auto industry that realizes that uh, they need to be competitive and young people and folks who are uh, concerned about the planet are buying more electric vehicles, buying uh, more hybrid vehicles. In addition, you have the Clean Power Plan, uh, which was put into place by President Barack Obama, which also has bent the arc of uh, carbon dioxide and other uh, fossil fuels being allowed to go into our environment. And that still exists and is enforceable despite President Trump's best efforts to uh, try to terminate it. But that's one of the other big things I'll be working on in the next Congress is enforcing that and making sure that we're developing more renewables, more solar. Uh, there's also the efficiency aspect. Everybody at home can make sure that they're being careful about how much energy they use. Uh, try to use mass transit where you could. Those of you who can afford it, electric cars are a great uh, aspect to be able to lower your carbon footprint as well as reducing your use of plastics. Uh, so there's a lot of things we can do uh, to help with climate change, and obviously those are all uh, part of a big priority of mine, representing Florida and Florida's 9th Congressional District, where we're surrounded by water and we're one of the most vulnerable states uh, to climate change. So these are some of the things. Obviously, it's a very complex issue. The issue of gun safety has become increasingly relevant as time goes on, considering all the mass shootings that have occurred just within the past few years. Darren Soto has proposed a five-point gun safety plan. So this is another complex issue and one that's near and dear to my heart. We absolutely need common sense gun safety reform. We saw firsthand here in Orlando with the Pulse nightclub tragedy uh, where we saw 59 people killed because uh, assault weapons are now legal again. Uh, I put forward a five-point plan of issues that I would like to see reform. The first being a ban on assault weapons. Uh, we used to have an assault weapons ban from 1994 to 2004. Since that expired and Congress did not uh, repass it, we saw a tripling of mass shootings and tripling of deaths. In addition, we need to ban high-capacity magazines and bump stocks. Um, these high-capacity magazines allow for extended rapid fire and bump stocks convert semi-automatic weapons to automatic weapons. In addition, we need universal background checks. Uh, when you buy a gun from a store, you have a background check. But when you buy it in a gun show or in a private sale, there's no requirement for that. So there's a huge loophole. Then third, there's the mental health issues. You know, we have... Uh, uh, been able to allow that in Florida, if someone is Baker Acted, uh, that they uh, temporarily lose the right uh, to bear arms and a judge has to uh, find that they are competent to do so again, as well as what we call red flag and, uh, injunctions, which just came about in a law that was passed last year where if law enforcement arrive on a scene, someone appears to have the propensity to commit uh, deadly violence, they can take away their guns in a temporary way, and then uh, you go in front of a court. Uh, lastly, no fly, no buy uh, is a bill that I've been supporting for some time, uh, which 
would say that if you are on the terrorism watch list, um, that you would be uh, banned from owning a firearm, um, but of course would have a judicial bypass because we have certain people with common names or folks with uh, names from certain areas like the Middle East who get innocently brought into this. So we need a judicial bypass to make sure that people weren't brought in, brought in innocently uh, to uh, these lists. So there's a lot of things we could do out there, but we have a long way to go. As your re-elected official, Darren Soto promises to strive for a better environment and a safer community. 